welcome to day three of our Daniel Fast. It is my privilege this morning to speak to us about a call to prayer. And as a portion of scripture, I'd like to use the reference found in Daniel chapter 6, verses 4 to verses 9. And it says the following, and this is as, as we prepare our hearts for prayer. Verses 4 says the following, So the governors and the satraps sought to find some charge against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find no charge or fault because he was faithful, nor was there any error or fault found within him. Verse 5 says, Then these men said, We shall not find any charge against Daniel unless we find it against him concerning the law of his God. Very important. Verse 6 says, So these governors and satraps uh, thronged before the king and said thus to him, King Darius, live forever. All the governors of the kingdom, the administrators, the satraps, the counselors and the advisors have consulted together to establish a royal statute, that's a law, and to make a firm decree that whoever petitions any God, any God or man for 30 days, except you, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions. Now verse 8 says, Now, O king, establish this decree and sign the writing so that it cannot be changed according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which does not alter. Verse 9 says, Therefore, King Darius signed the written decree. So I would like all of if you understand anything about Daniel's walk, um, Daniel had an habitual time of prayer with God. The world knew it, all men knew it around him that spent time with him, knew that there was specific time set aside for prayer. His prayer was out of a relationship with God, not just because I had to religiously do this, but he had a relationship with God and he was not willing to compromise on that relationship. And this relationship had such an influence on his character that he found favor with the king, with King Darius. And the other, other people that we read about here, yeah, the, 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 the satraps and, all, um, and the governors, were very jealous of this relationship. Let me just say this to you, that the world will always have a draw on your time. They will try to, the phone will ring, or you'll suddenly get a visitor. When you set the time aside, a specific time aside to pray, things will happen in the world to take that time away. It will want you to worship that's important to them. Like in this case, they wanted them to worship King Darius because King Darius was worship, was important for them. These will always be King Darius's in our personal lives. There will always be people that say, I am more important than what you want to do. And this is where you and I, the school of prayer is so important out of a relationship with God. This may also have an influence on your loyalty. And, and understand that as we spend time in humbling ourselves before God, as we spend time in prayer before God and preparing our hearts before God, I would like to just close with one portion of scripture found in 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 6. And it says the following. It says, um, Therefore humble yourselves under the almighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Now, Daniel's position came from a relationship with God, as I've already said. He received favor because of godly character. He received favor because he was willing to humble himself, no matter what the circumstances. Let me say this today. If you look at Daniel's story, people mis misconstrued his meekness as weakness. Yet there was time when he stood up when he had to stand up, and, and he was willing to take a stance because he knew what he was believing. I want to call us all to pray. I want us to, to bow our knees in and finding our godly character in that place of bowing our knees. We get to know Him because prayer is nothing, nothing other than speaking to Almighty God. Let's bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, we just come to you this morning again, afresh and new. And Lord, we thank you for your new, new day that you created, Lord. Thank you that we serve a living God. And Lord, as Daniel made certain decisions to set time aside, to pray, we come this morning and we set time aside this day, today, day three of our Daniel fast. So we will spend time in the Almighty's presence, Almighty God's presence. Lord, bless your people. We want to encourage your people to keep on praying and keep on fasting and holding on to God and allowing the presence of God to change our relationship with God into a more intimate relationship. And the prayer with God will build our character so the world out there would see that we have favor. Thank you, Father God, for your blessing upon our lives. In Jesus' holy name I pray.
Thank you so much for being with us. Stand strong. It's the day three. We've still got a couple of days going. Have a super blessed day.